sounds of uh, Rihanna right here on your favorite frequency 97.1. Ah, lovely song, uh, simply titled Needed Me. And uh, ahead of that one, we gave you something from Cuba, proud and lovely local music, saying Try So Hard alongside Zano. So, Ron, about now it is now time for us to actually put the spotlight on uh, the managing director of uh, Trackwave Digital CC. And uh, of course, it's in Rosebank. So, now uh, the managing director will actually enlighten us on what Trackwave is. And without any further ado, let's welcome Arnold Umshamfu. And what's this Trackwave? Uh, Arnold, what's up? Welcome to the show. How are you uh, doing? Thank you very much for having me. Um, wow. Firstly, I'd like to greet our listeners at home. Mm -hmm. And yeah, once again, thanks for having me in the show. Well, it's a great pleasure. It's a great pleasure. So, who, who is Arnold? And uh, what does Arnold do? Okay, so Arnold is a KZM boy. Yeah. Um, Arnold moved to... My, my name is Arnold in Yeah. I'm a KZM boy. And I moved to Joburg 2007. All right. Um, because I could just could not keep up with the trips I used to make. Yeah. Okay, so I started a business, a publishing company, yeah. 2005. Right. So straight out of high school, 19 years old, I'm starting this business uh -huh. uh, because I always knew that I was going to be in the music business. Somehow. Right, right. And it was a matter of which sector within the music business do I want to be in. Right. So everybody that I knew was in the record side uh, or doing uh, events. Yeah, so yeah. I wanted to branch out to something that's a bit more unique and different. Yeah. So I did publishing. Wow. All right. And for me, the publishing was was one of those things where I was like, you're not gonna find black guys doing publishing unless they are yeah. employed yeah. by some company. Mm, mm, mm. Um, so f I had a lot of challenges. But how I came to Joburg was I used to. So when my parents gave me, you know, pocket money, yeah, I used to, you know, buy a little bit of food, save the majority of it, buy myself a bus ticket. Yeah. Also, oh, you're collect, a saver. Yes, basically. Oh, yeah. So I'd collect nice. a lot of demos because I was already doing publishing. So yeah, yeah. you'd find me on the street in Devon. And there's no street I don't know in Devon that I've ever walked. Yeah. You'd find me in the street in Devon. I've got it. I've got a proof case with me. I've got any. Any kind of contract you can think of, yeah. I've got in my proof case, I'm ready to sign you right now. Wow. You know? Yeah. So I used to collect a lot of demos. Okay. And I'll buy a bus ticket. Mm -hmm. I'll come to Joburg. Yeah. I'll go to Gallo. I'll go to EMI, Universal. Basically, everybody. You, you're a hustler. Basically, yeah. Exactly. Wow. Sorry, I, I love the fact that we, you know, we're talking to a hustler right here. Yeah. Yeah. Someone that's taking the initiative. Why would you mind you? We're going to okay, fine. This industry, everyone is taking that route. No, Mina, I'm gonna take that route. Yeah. So I embrace that, man. Thank you very much. Yeah. And your journey from there onwards, how has it been? Uh, very challenging, I won't lie, because um, it's not easy being, you know, a music executive, yeah. you're black and you're young. Yeah. You're getting into a business that is mainly white dominated, yeah. and you're talking to a much older generation. Yeah. You know, I've had my fair challenge, of, my fair share of challenges where I've lost deals Yo. simply because the other guy is offering the artist that I'm trying to get a much better deal yeah. because they've got yeah. the money. Exactly. You know, I've had situations where I've been called by big companies, you know, to yeah. their offices and say, "Yo, stop doing what you're doing." Yeah, yeah. You know. What did you study? Is it like, like maybe poaching? But but you poach I'm, I'm not like, oh, bro, what was that? And it wasn't even that. Yeah. You see, I'm the guy who's got the ears and on the ground. Right. They don't. Yeah. So I'm the guy that discovers the talent. Mm -hmm. And I'm the guy who's gonna grow the talent and then they find it and then they say, Well, guess what? You've taken this artist this far, but we can take it much further. Yeah. And artists being an artist if they see your limitations, right, they're gonna say, "Well, I'm gonna sign with this company because this company is gonna get me a car." You yeah, get me a car. yeah, yeah. So you find those kind of challenges. I'm you a know? benefits. Yeah, and I, I had one one executive ask me, "So what did you study?" I'm like, "I've got a marketing degree." Right. And this guy's like, "Well, maybe you should close shop and you should find a marketing job." Right. I'm like, "I'm <laughs> yeah. not gonna do that." No, <laughs> you, <know>? you can't. <laughs> you can't close shop. Yeah. No way. No. You, you know? have to make it work. And the funny thing is. Some of these guys uh, end up consulting for their companies, yeah. you know, like nowadays. And some of them end up calling me now, asking me, how do you structure this deal? How do you do it? How do you do that? Yeah. And I'll ask myself, but you worked for a 
big company for X amount of years. Yeah. But you don't know how to do that. Right. And you soon discover what's your name. The reason they can't do that mm. is simply because as a hustler, I learned to do everybody's job. Right. Yeah. So they only is, yeah they only know how to do that particular job. Yeah, yeah. which is maybe uh, those performing yes. arts of of the yeah. Islam movement we are we are we are cool. Exactly. Exactly. And then about the rest, they don't know because there's people that are working within the company that are delegated to doing those particular things. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't have staff, so I have to learn how to do PR. I have to learn how to do marketing strategies i need to know how to structure distribution yeah, deals nice. I mean, whereas with them everybody there's, there's a legal person who's taking care of all those contracts right, yeah. i had to learn contracts by myself i had to study contracts wow. i had to learn how everything works nice. by myself so nice. i could literally run any of their jobs basically yeah so that is why these days you find some of them be like yo can you help me structure digital deals all right like, yeah sure yeah yeah you know? so basically your job your job is hooking them up or you know, putting them on digital, or giving them maybe some sort of a digital background, Nyana, or what is it? It felt like I spent house. It felt like I spent a lot Okay, so my job started as from publishing. All right. Two thousand and eight. Mm. I then did a partnership deal with a distribution company called Iris. All right. That was owned by Shear. Mm. And the reason I did a partnership deal with them was there were a lot of independent artists trying to get access to the market. Yeah. yeah. But because of the red tape, Eesh. they were unable to access Eesh. those distribution deals. Yeah. And because of my relationships with, with the directors mm -hmm. of Iris, I then said, I'm going to structure a distribution deal with you guys and I'm going to bring in, I'm going to identify smaller guys that I think deserve a chance yeah. to, to, to get into the market. Nice. So from publishing, I moved into physical distribution, mm -hmm. and then after that, I moved more into you know like consulting based, uh, yeah, yeah. like I'd consult for Native Rhythms, okay. or consult for Afrikori, yeah. etc. And I then got started getting invites, you know, to go and do lectures. I would go and do a lecture at the like, University of KZN to nice. like third year music yeah, students. Yeah, yeah. I'll do a lecture at like a particular theater or Moshido, yeah, yeah. or you know stuff like that. And like currently, I'm actually writing a book currently. It's almost done. Oh, wow. Um, okay, so cool. you're a man of many talents yeah, as well. Yeah. So hey, today, <laughs> today there's people of <laughs> many talents. We're on fire today. You know what? Yeah. We, we're on fire. Yeah. We're on a roll. So how Trackwave came mm. about. Now, yeah. So because I used to broker deals for people, so I broker digital distribution deals. So somebody says, yo, I'm looking for it. I'm looking for yeah. getting my music to this store and that store. I want to get this ringtone, etc. Right. So I broker deals like that for them. Mm. And then how, how, how Trackwave came about is I asked myself the question of what does it take for a completely new artist or an, not a so established artist yeah. to get to a level where they can compete with the established artists. Exactly. Yeah. And it takes certain things. Oh, because, uh, yeah, it, it's very difficult, I must say, um, when it comes to that mm. level. Okay, like when, when, when you have to cross the bridge. Yes. Hey. So, for me, that is how Trackwave came about because yeah. it was a matter of you find someone who's got a beautiful song, mm. but it's not mastered. Eesh. So we're going to provide mastering services. Right. And, we, and we have some of the best guys in the industry. Right? That's what I work with. I work with some of the best guys in the industry. Right. So we've got that. You've got some guys who are going to come to you. Because at the end of the day, it's all about presentation. Yeah. You know, when yeah. I had to pitch an artist to like a Sony or a Universal or whatever, yeah. it's all about the presentation. Yeah. The sound is right. The, from a technical point of view, from a commercial point of view, you know, how you present yourself, the yeah. artwork needs to be on point. Right. That is the only way you're gonna get that kind of attention. Mm, the consideration. Exactly. Because obviously you need to be considered afterwards, and then you can't just come up with yeah. something that is just you hop hop, you did it quickly, and then you yeah. take it. No. So, so we are sort of like a a one stop shop. Yeah. Where you can find multiple services. If you want to know where your music is getting played at any given point, you can yeah. come to us and we can give you a report. See, your music got played at this station, at this station, at this station, yeah. from this period and this period, etc. So we are able to equip upcoming artists mm. with the same tools yeah. that the major and established artists mm. actually have. You yeah, know? nice. So, yeah, that All is right. basically our effort. And then say maybe someone wants uh, the help from you. Um, like, how does, how does the process uh, go like? Uh, take us through the whole process. Maybe Nyakala, I mean, I'm the recording artist, Nyakala, and Nemanja Isan. My stuff, really, I need it to be mastered. I need it to, to, it's like, take us through the process. Maybe say I'm new right now. I want to 
be part of uh, uh, Trackwave. I want Trackwave to actually help me out. How can I go about that? Okay, uh, for us, the first thing is we need to first identify your needs because yeah. my needs, I'm artists, they're not the same. Yeah. You mm -hmm. might find an artist who says, well, look, I've got a bit of money and then I can invest yeah. towards my own career. Mm -hmm. So I'm not looking at getting signed by a major company, for instance. Yeah, I yeah. want to run my own ship. Yeah. Then we can say, right, if you want to run your own ship, then let's assess where are you right now right in terms now, of the stage yeah. that you're at mm -hmm. and what can we do to take that to the next level nice so say you you've you, you've got pretty rough songs etc etc yeah, then yeah. we can start taking you through the mastering process from the mastering we start doing mm. um graphic design processes yeah. where we design your artwork for you wow. then you start looking at okay fine right now you need to get into radio because you know radio is going to open x amount of doors yeah nice. you know then we need to go to to radio mm. then you say well i've got a bit of a budget to shoot a video great we can now get into yeah. a video we shoot your video we plug your video on mm. all the tv stations and we can get you onto like the platforms like yeah. youtube and vivo nice. and when we do that in fact we don't you're not just going to be on, on YouTube, yeah, people are watching a video, but yeah. there's no money in your pocket. When you watch our videos, yeah. there's gonna be money in your pocket for each and every single wow. video. Wow! Wow! So that's, basically, th that's awesome news, brother. Yeah. So that's what we do. Yeah. And we'll take you through that process, and then we'll say, right, what's the next step? How do you take now this to the next level? Mm. You know, now you need more PR. You know, you need interviews. Yeah, you need, exactly. You need features. You need mm. this and that. So basically, that is where then we come in and we say, let's draft a plan. Yeah. And then. You know, let's take it from there. Then you say, right, I want to drop my single now. I think I've done, you know, yeah. I've built enough buzz. Exactly. So let's drop our single. Then we drop it on all the digital stores, etc. All right. So tell me, what's what what makes a good song? What makes a song that you think, okay, right now this has got potential, and uh, we need to go about this way? What makes a good song? What well, one is simplicity. Yeah. People like to. I don't know how to put it, but there's, certain, there's, there's something about simplicity yeah. in terms of creativity. Exactly. That is why even the best art pieces you'd find are the most simple ones. Yeah. You know, somebody could just put a dot on a on a on an A5 size whatever, you yeah. know, and then people are just bidding to buy it. So for me, now it's simplicity right. because simplicity comes with me remembering the song. Yeah. Yeah. You understand? Mm. For me, if 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 if, I, if I'm able to hear a song once and I remember. The chorus, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. then for me it is that it's justice. a good song. It's a good song. Mm. It's a good song because that's what that's the most important thing. You don't want to have a request show and then people are calling in and they like, ah, oh, what's this song? It yeah, goes like this, like this, like this. Exactly. But you know, no, you wouldn't want such a thing. Yeah. You know exactly and then maybe say uh, someone wants to find out more information about you guys yeah. um how can they do so okay so we've got a website mm -hmm. uh, www .za. yeah or alternatively you can email us at info yeah. at trekwave.co.za mm. or i want to give out my, my my private number but you yeah. can call us at the office yeah yeah on, on 011 Seven five nine yeah four zero seven eight. It's four one one seven five nine four zero seven eight. So that is of course uh, Arnold. Yeah. So now, all right, what's next uh, for Trackwave? Okay, so right now um, we've implemented some technologies because remember, this whole Trackwave services is yeah. something that started eleven years ago. Mm -hmm. But in this case. But 11 years ago, remember, I was traveling yeah. with the same demos. Yeah. Now we're no longer traveling with demos. But now we've acquired the technology. Right. And because, you know, because of the, the increase in the local quota, in the, in the local quota yeah. it just means that more radio stations are going to need more new music. Exactly. Meaning which labels need you know, more artists. Yeah. So that is yeah. where we come in. We say radio needs, art, well, um, stations need more music. Yeah. Labels need more, more artists yeah. promoters are going to need more artists because nice. they're going to get exposed to more artists we're not going to keep booking the same artists yeah, over yeah. and over and over again so the entire value chain now changes as a result mm. of an increase in the local content nice. right? you know so that is where we come in and we say we now need to identify who we can place where yeah. and we want to push as many artists as we possibly can yeah. currently i'm sitting with over 2500 demos wow. that we, my team and i are still to go through yeah. and see who we're pitching where all right so okay when you guys pitch do you pitch maybe in 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 a form of uh, categories say maybe 
uh, Afro pop, Afro pop has to go to that radio station, uh, hip hop has to go, oh, maybe to Jazz and all of them go, and then the radio stations will just, uh, you know, um, filter them out or whatever. Well, look, when, when, it, when it comes to radio stations, obviously the genre plays mm -hmm. a role because not every single. You, you like currently you're finding more and more stations opening up in terms of the genre yeah yeah but you've got those mm. specific ones that are gonna say well we're only taking gospel oh yeah so we're not gonna go and try and plug a house song there right because right. we know which you're only taking gospel exactly you know same thing with the labels when you're pitching to labels we know that certain labels are more stronger in a gospel mm -hmm, category mm -hmm, mm -hmm. they're not gonna do justice in selling a house or hip-hop track nice. hip yeah so because we know we've got the real relationship with those people we know that if I've got an Afro jazz song, yeah. I know I can plug it to X, Y, and Z. All right. You know? Wow. So you guys got the database. Basically. Over All right. Hands. And then when it comes to, is it only maybe, does it apply to music only or maybe some other form of art? Or do you guys just focus on music? Interestingly, uh, two years ago, yeah. I, I developed this website. It was specifically for arts. So right. it included dancers, yeah. graphic designers, um, sure. Your basically arts. everybody who has arts. arts. Yeah. You know, people trying to get into presenting anything that has to do with arts. Yeah. But we, we, had, so we had some issues with the with the model. No, so right. we ended up dropping that. Yeah. And then I decided that no, let me let me concentrate on, on, on music because once you start opening it up, I'm not saying it will never grow to the yeah. level, it might grow to the level mm -hmm. depending, you know. Yeah. If people are driving us to that to, right. to that direction, yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah. But we didn't want to have to remember if you're opening up a new market, it means more money. Yeah. Because it means building relationships. Yeah, exactly. You know? So um, more money as well yeah. out of your pocket. Exactly. Because building relationships cost money. Yeah. Whether you like it or not, it costs money in data, it costs money to call someone, yeah. it costs money to visit them. Thank you. So, thank you. you know, it's when hard. They, yeah, it's, it's, it is hard. So when someone, when someone, you know, if, if, if I need something from you, yeah. And are you have the relationship to get it done mm -hmm. then you should be able to say okay fine i'll get this done for you because you've got the relationship yeah but you're gonna charge me of amount of money i cannot i cannot really you know expect you to do it for free because i know mm -hmm. that over the years that relationship exactly. has costed you some, exactly. some yeah. kind of money so yeah. you, you might not be able to to measure how much it is but it has costed you mm. so you know so now as we were at uh way to from now so where to from now? Mm. Um, right now, what we want to do then is we want to we're busy going through our demos. Yeah. Because some artists, in fact, they don't they're not looking for deals. Right. As in, I'm not looking for a record deal as an artist. Some okay. artists are purely looking for distribution because they say oh, yeah. I've got my own resources. Okay. I'm looking for distribution. Yeah. Or some artists are saying no, I'm only looking for radio. Yeah. Or some artists are saying no, I'm only looking for so uh, for airplay monitoring. I've got everything. I've done my own plugging. I've done my own yeah. this. I just want to get reports from broadcast to say. Where is my music getting played? Because All you right. might find a station in Cape Town that says they're playing you, but you have no proof because you're not listening to mm -hmm. it. But mm -hmm. we can give you those reports and we can check if they're actually playing you or not, and how many right. times, etc. Nice, you know. But for us right now, it's giving the smaller guy access. Yeah, it's about getting the smaller guy, you know, heard because you know if the smaller guy goes to a major. They can stop there at reception and you can Please drop off your yeah. chances of that demo edit people getting listened to are very small. But for Lebak Chigi so Safiga Lebo Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, Tina see you in LA. Yeah. You're gonna find Figo here. Figo deals with the music. They're gonna attend you. You yeah. know what I mean? So now there's track wave as well. Mm. And then, uh, so now when it comes to track wave, is there maybe something that you guys are looking into venturing in? Uh, since well that uh, that all star um, what performance website didn't mm -hmm. work out properly, mm -hmm. are you looking to venture into something else or uh, Currently, our plans are to focus purely on the music business. Yeah, and like I said, it, yeah. it, it, it 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 has a potential to grow because the music business is not a standalone. Yeah, you know the music business relies on choreographers, it yeah. relies on graphic yeah. designers, yeah. it relies on, you know. On a, whole lot. Um, on a whole lot. On a whole lot. The yeah. whole lot make up an artist. It's not just, I mean, image consultants, etc., mm. etc. It's not just an artist, and but the music alone. So for now, we're just concentrating on the music. Yeah. Uh, but it does have the potential to grow outside of the, uh, you know, of, 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 of the music of, yeah. alone, you know? And even maybe in the African continent. Oh, no, definitely. We are definitely looking at the African continent. Remember? Yeah. Currently, I mean, 
if you look at the penetration of smartphones in yeah, Africa, exactly. data costs are going down. That means more and more people are going to be online. Yeah. So if, that, if that's the case, it means that we can access more and more artists. Yeah. So if we access more artists, then it means that we, we have, we're giving these artists a bigger chance yeah. you know, to get heard by the masses. So yeah, we definitely wanna, we're definitely going to be penetrating through to Africa. All right. Definitely. And then when you wrap up uh, um, something that I was reading on the website, yeah. uh, you say music, tech, and business lies on the foundation of Trackwave Digital. And then what does that have, what does that mean? It okay. lies through everything it is. Yeah. Okay, so basically on the foundation of Trekwave, yeah. we are about business. Nice. We're not about yeah, it's not play. child's play. No. It's not child's play. No, 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 it's not. Yeah. You know, we run a professional business yeah. which is about the music. Yeah. And it's about technology. And it's because about helping other people exactly, as well, exactly. getting into the platform. Because you see, once you integrate technology, yeah. it means that we are no longer charging the fees that we would have charged. Yeah. Because now we have technology that we've acquired that actually just brings down our costs. Yeah. Meaning which the smaller guy can now have access to us. Yeah. So that is why Love we have it. now opened our doors to the smaller Love guys. It. I mean, I've worked with tons and tons of artists, like yeah. tons of artists, you know, from your El Tito's to your Nesty Neves, to yeah. your Layabouts, yeah. to, 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 to El Volvo's, to tons of guys. In fact, I was just about to ask you, Ori, any encounters with uh, all of those big, big people? Who did you work with and who was it, you know, at the top of your list? You know, your DJ Zinclairs, your... your the Timmy Silenta guys, I have about 150 artists nice. under my portfolio nice. that I, I've worked with, you know, build relationships with yeah. over the years. You know, I've consulted mm. for the likes of MTN for, yeah. for, for TV campaigns yeah. where they've been yeah. brought in, you know, as a music supervisor. Exactly. You know? So I've worked with tons and tons of artists. Sometimes I even forget. Oh, oh, yeah. oh okay. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> are, <laughs> so, so, yeah. All right. And uh, in closing, man, what would you love to say to whoever artist that is out there and that's hearing our message right now? Okay. So, in closing, I'd like to say that guys keep making music, but when you do make your music, take the market into consideration because. You know, sometimes you might have some some guys arrive too early. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. some guys think they've already arrived. And you can block your own success by thinking you've arrived, but you haven't. Eish. You know, sometimes I yeah. ask guys. So, you know, like I'll see I'll see a post on Facebook. Mm. You know, I'm that guy who's hustling everybody. I'm not the MD who's gonna chill and wait for whoever to hustle. Yeah. Yeah. I'm the guy who's gonna say, oh, okay. And I'll inbox you. I'm like, so you're doing music. Yeah. So who's doing one, two, three for you? Uh, nice. And then you get a guy who's gonna say, I'm doing it myself. I'm like, oh, okay. okay. So how? Exactly. Yeah. How do you? And then do you that? find out, in fact, this person actually has no idea what you just asked them. Ew. You understand? Yeah. No, no, so no, you no. find guys that think they've arrived, but they actually have not arrived. Yeah. But they actually need help. Mm -hmm. You know. So mm -hmm. for me, it's about keep making music, take the trends into consideration, mm -hmm. but find something to be different. Like right now, everybody's doing the same style of hip hop yeah, trap, yeah, yeah. dying out. Hey, so if you're coming in right now, chances of getting a deal, in. everybody's gonna shy away from you. Hey, Unless shy. if you can add in an extra element, that might be a bit unique. Yeah, yeah. So always be unique. Take the market into consideration because if you're making music at the end of the day, you're not the only one who's gonna be buying it. Yeah. Mm. So take the people into consideration. Sometimes you find an artist if you're too close to a project, you might wanna push a certain single. But yeah. we feel what, in fact, the single is that actually should be driving your sales yeah. this one because it's more yeah. commercially appealing. Instead of because that when, one. Yeah, because you wrote a song when your girlfriend hurt you Eesh. and you feel like, ah, I love this song, I want to get it on the radio, but it's yeah. actually not going to make financial sense. Yeah, yeah. Day -day. No, I, I hear you, my brother, I hear you. So now, um, once again, how can the people get hold of you? Um, email, uh, social media, and uh, at the office, maybe? Okay, office 011 759 Four zero seven eight, and email address is info at trekwave.co.za right. and you can go to www.trekwave.co.za yeah. and yeah man let's 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 make music let's let's do business yeah. let's, let's take it out there mm -hmm. let's push it you know give us a chance and then let's see what we can do for you you know if you're not happy you're not happy yeah you know but yeah let us know what what your needs are and be specific you know and then we'll advise you as well if you're actually not sure what you're looking for because some people don't know what they're looking for exactly you know? this is what i'm gonna do yeah i'm gonna rock like this 
Ah, uh, Arnold, yeah. my man, thank you so much for coming through. Thank it's you been a much. blessing. And uh, you can as well as uh, check them out on Facebook. It is uh, Facebook uh, forward slash Trackwave Digital and yeah. at Trackwave on Twitter. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much, my man. And uh, if you making music out there, keep on making music. Yeah, send us those demos, man. Right. right. Hear them. Yeah, just like uh, this guy right here, DJ Mshega, saying yeah. who featuring Busi and check it out. Yeah, thanks very much. All right. Great stuff. Ah. Uh, My man, you are thank, you thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah. Very, very done. Because uh, it has gone much to buy, guys. Yeah. And the bashing of this man. Yeah. Mara baka vuguti. So ya ganja. What next? Yeah. Hey. Mara mina, mina na so so kenu. Mara mina. Yeah, mina. Yeah, mina. Yeah, mina. Yeah, mina. Yeah, mina. Yeah, mina. So you're the submissions guy? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, so let me uh, can I get you your contact details as well? Mm -hmm. Or if you can drop me an email. So, yeah. Or SM or in a chat, whatever. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. 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 Sure. Hi, good morning.